think I didn't know I was going to be a voice for change. I was just trying to do the right thing at the time and place where we were. My husband and I had moved to North Carolina from California and most recently from England. We had small children and then we realized that everything was segregated. We took our clothes to the laundromat and one side of the laundromat said whites and the other side said colored. And we'd hear the school bus go by every morning. More than one bus. There was one bus going to the black school with picking up the black kids. There was another bus that was picking up the white children in the neighborhood and taking them to the white school. And this just was something we, we couldn't imagine going along with. So we talked with friends in our meeting about starting a Quaker school. And the Chapel Hill meeting thought it was a lovely idea, but they didn't want to detract from efforts to desegregate the public schools. So there was a small group, I think about six of us, from these two meetings that still felt really, really convinced that what Durham and Chapel Hill needed at that time was a school that saw diversity as a positive thing and would go into integration, which we all knew was coming, would go into it with a really positive attitude. What gives me hope is young people. Students graduate from here with a sense of connection to other students, with a very strong sense of who they are individually and how to relate to others individually. They like to celebrate differences across races to develop their own values and then to go out in the world and do something about it. So it's, it's young people that are now particularly, just recently, getting really active that give me great hope.